Hello my beautiful Gemini, welcome to your mid-July 2024 reading. I hope you're doing well. Based on the pre-shuffle, it feels like many of you are wishing and hoping for someone to return. Okay, so we've got the star and I feel like this is that wishing and hoping type of energy. Next to the nine of pentacles. So this is you, you're currently single and you're hoping for someone to return. The reason why I feel like you're hoping to reconcile with someone is... We have the Six of Cups in the reverse here. So someone left a bad taste in your mouth. We also have um, cards like, just bear with me, the Eight of Cups in the reverse. But Spirit is saying, so this is coming back. This is that energy of coming back. Spirit is saying the longer you hold out hope, the more unhappy you're going to be. Three of Wands is waiting four of cups is you know boredom dissatisfaction jadedness rejection so i really feel like you need to let this go so once upon a time this person could have represented your happily ever after you may have you know banked on the fact that you were going to end up with this person you were going to build a life together they embodied the ten of cups for you and you're holding on to this person for dear life, four of pentacles. So you're holding on to this um, vision that you held of a happily ever after with this person. However, it's becoming a bit of a burden with the ten of wands. It's kind of becoming a bit of emotional baggage for you, okay? And it's preventing your healing. So we have the temperance in the reverse. It's preventing your healing. I am picking up with the temperance in the reverse and the devil card. You might be a little bit obsessed about this, about getting back together with this person, obsessed about, you know, feeling vindicated in all of this. So you might have felt like someone treated you unfairly or ended things suddenly out of the blue. Um, that's what I was looking for. The Ten of Swords in the reverse is that sense of a lack of closure and unfinished business. Um, you might have felt like you really invested in this relationship and you were convinced, as I said to you before, that this was going to last the distance. This was going to go the distance. But this person seemed to lose interest. Page of, of Wands in the reverse. Um, you know, once upon a time, they could have been really romantic. We've got the Knight of Cups here, really passionate. But then all of a sudden, with this Knight of Wands in the reverse, they were more out than they were in. Okay, and we have the Five of Swords. I feel like you're a little bit bitter because you feel like you left this relationship empty handed when you had high hopes. Okay. Um, so I feel like you're resisting this transition. You're resisting this transition. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Things could actually change and be much better for you if you weren't holding on to this person the hermit in the reverse i feel like you could be in love with the idea of this person or the idea of the future that you held out hope for with them um spirit is saying you need to work on three of pentacles you need to work on moving forward the fool taking a, st a step in a new direction Okay, so let me see what else we can get. I'm drawn to this deck that I made just recently. Let's have a look. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is Gemini's message, please? When it comes to love, what is Gemini's message? We've got a card that says that you could have been starving to receive something from this person that really you need to be giving to yourself. So instead of trying to build a future with this person um, and have them on board with that, maybe you need to build your own future. Maybe you need to, you know, buy your own house that you were hoping that you would buy with this person. Whatever it is, maybe you need to start your own family. Um, there's something that you were hoping this person would provide for you but spirit really wants you to start providing it for yourself. Maybe you handed over the key to your happiness to this person.
Angels and Spirit, please show me what is the guidance for Gemini? What does Gemini need to see? Maybe some of you feel a little bit resentful because you think that this person deceived you. You know, told you that they wanted A when they wanted B. And so you you were working on this relationship based on their promise of A. And then you discovered very late on in the piece when you were fully emotionally invested that, that A isn't what they were wanting at all. Um like they started they started to make you feel insecure and rather than listen to that rather than question why you were feeling so insecure in this relationship you kept giving you kept trying instead of listening to that it was a message right that maybe this relationship wasn't meant to last and I feel like part of your healing process is is going to need to be forgiving yourself for not trusting your intuition, for not making changes sooner, for not reading the room a little bit, okay? Um, now, Spirit is saying you might need to, um, what's the word? Practice some discipline because I feel like you really want to let this person have it. You want to unleash your fury. You want to text them everything that they did to let you down. You want to make them feel bad for what they did, but you have a card here that says, Always say less than necessary. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. Because the more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. But also people who are intriguing and mysterious are more attractive. People who say less are more attractive. So maybe just censor yourself a little bit. <laughs> Practice some self-restraint is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um... I feel like this person got cold feet. There's a there's a, an impression I'm getting from the cards here that as soon as you started talking about a future and maybe starting a family or moving in together, this person slowly pulled away. Okay. Um, so you might want to change your approach next time around. You've got a card that says... If you say you're not interested in jumping into a relationship with both feet, the other person will set out to change your mind. So maybe rather than pushing to solidify a relationship, to put a ring on it, whatever it is that you're looking for, love someone in a way that makes them feel free. Love them in a way that makes them feel like you're not trying to lock them in. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm getting from that deck. Let's have a look at what other guidance we have. We'll, we'll see what this person would say to you as well. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is the guidance for Gemini in love, please? What is the guidance for Gemini? What is the guidance for Gemini? I feel like you, you may have even grown apart from this person. Um, this card says, do you have enough in common to have a basis for growth? So maybe you hit a snag. Maybe it's like this relationship reached its use by date. Do you know what I mean? Like it, there just wasn't enough goals and values and love languages in common. So maybe it just wasn't the perfect fit that you were hoping it would be, right? Angel and Spirit, please show me what does Gemini need to see. What does Gemini need to see, please, Spirit? What does Gemini need to see? I feel like you're doing a lot of overthinking. You're trying to reach for answers and your logic is not kind of helping. You've got a card that says thoughts are an unreliable narrator misrepresenting you to you. Only think about what you intend to manifest. But even further than that, don't just 
focus on what it is that you want. Reframe this past experience, okay? So that you don't have to keep overthinking it, reliving the past. Um, because the way you're perceiving this situation is a little bit skewed, okay? Yeah, so you, you have a card that says you've become swept up in thinking things through and stuck in the logic of the decision-making process um, when we should just choose based on what we're feeling right now. So maybe you, you prolonged a decision to walk away from this relationship until it got really bad and, and maybe the other person got in before you and maybe you need to forgive yourself for not you know, ending things sooner or seeing the writing on the wall. There's a lot of overthinking here. Let's have a look at um, some, some more advice. Yeah. Instead of dwelling on this loss, Spirit is saying when an opportunity passes you by, celebrate because it's a chance to appreciate clarity in whatever is not aligned with you. Think about it. You could have been in this relationship for even longer than you were, wasting your time with someone who didn't want the same things as you. So they're saying what is happening now is exactly what's needed to get to what you want. You aren't seeing the bigger picture in the same way that an animal can't see that a person who's setting it free is there to help it. So your person really did you a favor, okay? You, you reached a dead end in that relationship, so it's time to really just put it to rest. Angels in spirit relation, what does Gemini need to see? Yeah. It's worse to stay where one does not belong at all than to wander about lost for a while and looking for the soul tribe that one needs. Go where you are valued. Believe that things are getting better. So, yeah, you need to see things from a higher perspective. All right, let's have a look at what this person would say to you. Angels and Spirit, please show me what this person would say to Gemini. What this person would say to Gemini in mid-July 2024. What would this person say to Gemini, please? What would this person say to Gemini? person say to Gemini? I feel like there is an element of this person, they did for a while string you along, okay? And you were waiting and hoping for things to improve, but they didn't. So this person really didn't want to let you go, but I feel the result was things just devolved. They got worse and worse. They're saying, I can't handle your love. I feel like this person was a little bit avoidant. Instead of, you know, sitting down and having an, an honest, frank conversation about where the relationship was headed and, and the problems within the relationship, this person just avoided and it made a mess. Um, yeah, they couldn't promise you anything. So I feel like that was the crux of why this fell apart. Um, they're not happy that's any consolation to you life without you has been quite dark and this person misses your light but they're saying don't wait for me please and that goes back to the tarot cards you're waiting and hoping for a reconciliation but I feel like there's too much water under the bridge the advice is to really move forward 
Look, avoidance, I can't talk to you right now. I don't know where to start. I can't make decisions. Okay. Um, there, I am picking up on some regret here. So, but this person is quite lost. I feel like it could have got quite dramatic towards the end. Um, yeah, emotions overwhelm this person. So I'm definitely getting avoidance. They're saying, I wish I could be fully honest with you and I can't make you happy. So they just don't want what you want. And that's as simple as that. Okay. Let's have a look at your crystal spirit message. And then I'm going to end the reading with what you can look forward to. I'm going to use a... I don't know if you saw the beautiful black pug that I'm minding at the moment. Um, I'm going to get a general message about what you can look forward to, Gemini. What is Gemini's relationship and love message, please, for mid-July 2024? All right, you've got hematite. It's talking about the need to become grounded and get back to Earth. It's about the need for practicality and centeredness, balance and calm. So it says love is a verb expressed through loving actions. Hematite is calling you to take loving action towards someone who perhaps you've been taking for granted. This could be friends, right? It's much too easy to forget people's wonderful qualities and all that they give us for our brains are designed to pay more attention to problems and dangers. Make a point of expressing love and appreciation to others. Um, relationships are the foundation that supports you in turbulent times so nourish them today wasn't expecting that message but hopefully it resonated with you let's have a look angels and spirit what can Gemini look forward to in July 2024 what can Gemini look forward to please what can Gemini look forward to peace Yay, I love that. Okay, let me read this out. Um, no matter what's happening on the surface, know that all is in perfect harmony. And that came out before. Everything in your life is exactly as it should be. Everything is flowing smoothly and effortlessly as it's meant to be. Peace transcends fear, rises above the illusion of separation and connects you even more to the creator. So that hematite card, I feel like, was asking you to get back in touch with friends that maybe you've been neglecting, uh, maybe you've been wallowing in your sadness that this relationship didn't, you know, pan out as you were hoping. So rather than, you know, um, wallowing in your sadness, get back out there, go out with your friends and understand that everything is unfolding according to divine timing. True peace isn't static and boring. It's full of grace, enthusiasm, and vitality. Serenity isn't something that you need to seek or try to attain. It's already within you. Remember that you can choose peace in any circumstance. Even when things around you are chaotic or confusing or irritating, breathe deeply and fully and simply choose peace. It can be that simple. And didn't I just say before, it's, it's simple. Keep it simple. If finding serenity is a challenge, spend time in nature. It is the universal balancer. Simplify your life and clear clutter. Cherish your animal companions. Take care of them and they will care for you. Well, Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful. Do leave me feedback in the comment section and I'll see you again soon. Bye.